the identified institutions from different regions across the country will each receive an amount of $20,000. Some of the schools that benefited are Gustav Kanji High School in Omaheke, Agra Panguena Secondary School in Paras, Oshirambo High School in Oshikoto, and the Koma School Sport Region. We can try and respond positively to the call of the government to assist those who are in need. And we are saying that education is really on top of our list. Speaking at the handover ceremony, the Minister of Fisheries and Marine Resources said his ministry is leading by example when it comes to social responsibility, as this is not the first time he officiates at a handover ceremony by the players in his sector. The fisheries sector has a deliberate policy objective of beneficiating less fortunate Namibians through corporate social responsibility, among other mechanisms. And I am happy to note that many of these companies have heeded my call. The schools and community institutions that benefited from the donation approached Escalate Investment and communicated their needs separately. And this fund will be used for a girl child. Well, by menstruation management, a gene club is introduced to our school to assist a girl child. KSSR will be using, utilizing the money to recognize the athletes of Comas region. So this will be the first time ever in the history of KSSR that an award ceremony will be held for the, all the learners uh, or sporting athletes. Receiving the contribution on behalf of the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, the Deputy Permanent Secretary of the Ministry, Charles Kambajani, urged the recipients to apply the funds correctly to benefit the Namibian child. Salima Henok, NBC News, Ventuk.